goes nothing. Any word from Cobra One? Patience. They'll call it those long ones. So they will. No problem. We can handle two outsiders. Trust in the soft. You must admit, your girls have surprised me with this. Oh God, prove me wrong. This should be fun. Clear. Just like I planned. <laughs> yeah.
This looks to be it. Right, back to shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Fraser. Hi. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know? Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort embedded in the mountain is worth a look. And definitely that fort in the lake bed. Suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. 
I know Nate pretty well. Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good. all the fun. <laughs> Nearly there. <sighs> all three symbols, all in one place. Nice. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Let's see what's behind the trident door. Glad I didn't try to take those jerks on by myself. Let's see what's behind the bow door. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Last one. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. button before climbing up. Was it worth a climb? Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. So we know where else we need to visit now? Indeed we do. Oh. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. 
Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have two more symbols to find. Copy that. Hey, look. Shiva's axe matches the symbol in the tower. Shiva. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. Yeah. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding old attachments. Exactly. It should do the trick. Okay. Going, going, done. Let's get inside. Okay. In we go. Ah, Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Sala comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Fine. I mean, don't drink it or anything. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Not afford luxury. Well, trade them. I'm sure there's a man here with floppy boots. I'm smaller than most men. I thought we were talking about your feet. We are. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hang on. What's that? Nothing here. <clears throat> What did you find? Nothing. We are clear. What the? You okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. A star and They're all Hoysala sons. I like your descriptions better. Ah, 
Figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Huh? We'll see. Feels good to be outside. Weird smell in there. Death. Smelt like death. Uh, I was thinking mildew with all the water. Definitely death. Here we go. Guess this will be a picture of an ex. Good guess. Oh. This one's a bit trickier. Nice to see you, Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. what? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. And now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. All right. And we were talking about... Oh, oh hold on. Let's hit pause on this. <coughs> hey, want to do a bit of sightseeing? Right behind you. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama... Parashurama. Can I see again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still hey. around at all. Ugh. Yeah, I know how to drive. Sure. In reverse. You're welcome. Up. Go up. 
Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. Hang on. Over there. Movement. Hey! Who's there? It's Fraser! <laughs> Open fire! <laughs> 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 That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. clear. It won't be the last of them. That was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over the spot. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. Across at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, please. Show me how it's done. Watch and learn. Pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. <sighs> oh, there you are. Having fun? Just like the monkey bars in primary school. <laughs> I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. So, this will be a bow. What the hell? 
hell? That's not fair. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside rim. Rama. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. <laughs> 